Hey guys, what's happening? So, in my last video, I showed you my Mugen that I got on that eBay lot. And this is the off nut buggy. And uh, this one is definitely not as high end as the Mugen. You can just tell by the build quality, but it still looks pretty good, you know. Um, a few minor issues I've seen so far. Uh, I guess not really minor, but, um, you know, this is bent. The uh, shock arm is bent. i got to bend that back. It's a little bit more rusty. Originally the engine was seized, I unseized the engine, um, so I, I feel like it's going to run. I got an ultrasonic clean the tank, because who knows when was the last time the tank was run. This one actually has a lot more rust on it, so I want to go through and get all the rust off. Maybe powder coat these springs again. Um, but everything else seems like it's fine. Uh, I had to change the servo, so I probably need to get a new front servo, this is messed up. And one of the weirdest things is... Uh, well, it's not weird, but it's the guy broke this uh, knuckle here, right? But when he replaced the knuckle, it's not the same as the other knuckle. So um, it, it tilts up slightly. So this this side is tilting up. So when you put the wheel on, the wheel is not sitting straight. Instead of actually sitting like this, it's sitting like curved in. So I didn't know if the guy was like an oval track racer, oval dirt, you know. Because I remember back in the day we used to do that, we'd actually have the wheels kind of slightly tilted to, the, to match the oval track, but I don't know if they still do that or not, but um, so yeah, that could get a lot of rust off there, and it's a off to 28 engine, and like I said in my other video, I suspect this guy raced these things because he had this little uh, transponder there, but yeah, off to 28 engine with the Jammin' J3P, Jammin' JP3 pipe. Definitely more rusty than the other one. Uh, shocks out of place, it looks like. Get that fixed. So I think I'm going to have to get some new knuckles. So that's probably, I think, hopefully the only... Well, the servo, you know, seems like it's messed up. So, But this is not the original servo. I took the, this servo that was in here, I put it in the Mugen, because the Mugen, I think, is a better... better. Uh, it's sort of like a buggy druggy. But, uh, alright, so I gotta go on eBay and see if I can find some of these knuckles, and, uh, I'm gonna bend that back, you know, like I said. So when I come back, this will just be a little more cleaned up, and, uh, we'll do a fire up, you know, see if the tension works. But I feel like it's got it because it has compression, so, uh, I'm not too worried about that. Like I said, just get the tank cleaned up, and everything looks fine, the brakes. Yeah, the braking system actually does seem better on this one than the Mugen. You know, a lot more uh, brakes for the uh, disc. So, yeah, it looks like there's four discs. One, two, three, four, and the Mugen has two. And, uh, all right, look at this going. It's fun. All right, cool. Just found this uh, knuckle in a bag of stuff. That matches that one, so now I can have the same knuckle on both sides. I did get it to adjust out by turning the turnbuckle to make it straight, but obviously I'd like to have the same knuckle on both sides. All right, so my little Don, my ultrasonic cleaner. And... Get that tank in there. Get some water in there, make sure I fill up the water. Okay. I'll set this to the max, turn on the heater. That's it, I'm gonna go for probably, uh, I'm gonna keep on going until the inside is cleaned out. Right now there's some old residue, like uh, nitro residue. All right, so I cannot stand rust. There's rust there, the shock springs are rusty. They seem like they're fine, but um, yeah, I'm gonna take all that stuff off and get the rust off the uh, sway bar back here, the uh, rear uh, axles, all right. Yeah, it was kind of surprising, like all this stuff was actually, it seemed like it was working fine when it was put together, but this side was stiff, this side was free, uh, things were locked up here, so just oiling everything up, trying to free everything up, get the rest off. All right, take a look, so when I was taking this thing apart, I noticed right there, the uh, where the dog bone goes, axle, a huge gouge in there, so that's going to create slop. The inside is a little bit worn too. Uh, I'm trying to turn my hand 
it's a little bit chewed up on that side too, but really bad on that side, on both sides, so. Um, I see if there's an extra one in the bag, maybe. All right, kind of a good score. My local hobby store actually had this. I saw it on eBay. I was shocked that it was a local store, so. Um, it, I think it was like six bucks, five fifty-four, and then uh, it's gonna replace those things right there, the diff cups. The thing is, the design looks different, so I don't know if they came out with a better design as a replacement. It definitely looks thicker. I right, have the gearbox open. I'm gonna take the diff apart. And actually, I don't have any fluid. None of the people actually had the fluid. Everybody was out of fluid. It looks like a shim. Um, I gotta figure out what kind of grease to use for this to regrease the, the gears. Yeah, I gotta take the whole diff apart to get the new parts in. Alright, so I got the diff apart, but no fluid came out, so... Um, it was really stiff, too. I mean, it's not... Oh, it's definitely kind of stiffer, you know? Alright, so I don't... I can't get any fluid locally, so I might want to ultrasonic clean that. Do some sort of, like, alternative, like, a... Maybe some like tri flow or something in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to race this. I just want to get it going again. But I also don't want to destroy the diff either. All right, so I'm using all this oxide fluid that's used for rebuilding guns to fix up some of these uh, blemishes in the, in the uh, dog bones here, drive shafts. It's a chemical blueing process. See that? Metal needs to be very, very clean, though. See that? That's pretty cool, huh? All right, guys, there it is. The Ofna Jammin CR, uh, or excuse me, X, CR X1, I can't remember what it was. But, uh, the air filter, I redid the diff. I think I forgot to video that. Uh, tires on there, I got the new, um, replace the uh, knuckle. Gotta go on eBay and get that. Things ready to run, cleaned up the pipe. The ultrasonic cleaned it, scrubbed it. I uh, changed this over to a pull string from an electric start, so ready to fire. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or not, just because it's not, I think the Mugen's a lot better, but. All right, cool, fun. A lot of work though, a couple, I mean, probably four or five hours in this thing, at least. Just cleaning all the stuff off, getting everything done, so. Gotta put a glow plug in there and uh, get fired up.